Today in the White House, we have perhaps the worst and most dangerous president in the history of our country. And we also have, not to be forgotten, extreme right-wing leadership in the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate. Despite the current President of the United States. Oh, you know who I am talking to, but what I'm talking about. The American people, whatever Trump may think, or is usually the case, not think. The American, the American people understand that we have a moral responsibility to leave this planet healthy and habitable for our children and for our grandchildren. And I am more than aware that Republican governors all across this country are working overtime to suppress the vote, to make it harder for people of color, poor people, old people, young people to vote. That is what we are facing today. And that is a lot of obstacles. All over, in Illinois and all over this country, the working people of this nation need a raise. Now is not the time to throw your hands up and say, I'm giving up, I'm in despair, I'm burnt out. I want you to think about the incredibly brave heroes and heroines in our history against unbelievably daunting odds who risked their lives for social justice, for economic justice, for racial justice. Now, the fight that we are engaged in now it's a tough one, no question about it. We are taking on an extremely powerful billionaire class whose greed has destroyed the middle class of this country, whose greed says that it is not enough that the top 1% today owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90%, not enough. They want it all. And what we are saying today, we are going to stand up to that greed, to that recklessness, and tell the billionaire class that this nation belongs to all of us, this democracy belongs to all of us. When we stand together and not allow demagogues to divide us up by the color of our skin or the country we came from, or our sexual orientation, or our gender, when we stand together, there is nothing.